All right, guys, welcome back to Teal House Farm. Today we are making grocery totes out of old feed bags. We got a sheep bag here. We have a chicken feed bag. JJ and Ivy and I made this one earlier this afternoon. We're gonna finish the last two and we're gonna show you how we do it. This is the simplest way to make them. Hi, Goobs. This is the simplest way to make them. There are more complicated ways. And if you'd like me to post the complicated way, um, comment below and I'll show you. And the real difference between the super simple and the complicated is the bottom. So these do not have what I call a box bottom. They don't stand up really until you put something in them. You can sew them so that the bottom is a box shape or a square and the bag will stand up by itself without anything in it. But these bottoms are still pretty roomy and once you put your first, you know, juice or cereal box or whatever in here, it's nice and square and it'll stand up for you. So I don't usually bother to go through the extra effort to make the squared bottom. So if you want to know how, I can make another video later and show you how to make that kind of bottom on these bags so they stand up independently. All right, but this is, like I said, this is super simple. I think Ivy here is going to help me make another one. Micah might be helping too because she really likes to sew. Um, and if you have a sewing machine and can sew a straight line, you don't need to know any special stitches or anything. If you can sew a straight line, you can do this. This is not complicated sewing. You just need a feed bag, some scissors, and a sewing machine. Nothing special. We're not adding any crazy scissors or things to these. This is just the feed bag, scissors to cut it, and a sewing machine. And you do have some choice as to how large you will make them. Um, I'll show you how big we're going to make ours, but you can do it according to what works best for you. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first step is to wash the bags. I'm just going to use warm water and a, just a tiny bit of dish soap, turn them inside out and give them a tiny scrub and then hang them on the line to dry and then they should be good to go in about an hour. First step is to cut. You want to cut the bag to be about two inches longer than you want your final product to be. We make things easy by just following the straight lines already printed on the bag, but you could actually measure it out. And you need to cut both the top and the bottom. This will help make sure you have a nice clean edge that you are working with. Once you have it cut to size, you want to go ahead and save those pieces you cut off. We're going to use them later. It's Miss America. Yeah. <laughs> And then we are going to turn the bag inside out. This is actually a little trickier than it looks because the bags are pretty stiff, but Micah gets it done. And then we need to go ahead and press it nice and flat at the side seams so we have a nice square to work with. I'm just like zipping it like a ziplock. After you do that, you want to put your finger down mm -hmm. and do this. I'm about to learn more That's cool. Let's do the other side too so it lays nice and flat. Okay, you want to make sure that you find the bottom, which side's the bottom. The bag will work either way, but your sheep or your chicken will be upside down when you hold it if you don't make the bottom of the bag the bottom of your bag. So this is the bottom of the bag because I see the little sheep's feet. Sheep feet! Um, so we know this is the bottom. So what we're going to do, Micah made this nice and flat with her origami folding technique. And uh, we're going to take this little lip and we're going to fold it twice. So just a little bit, you know, it's like a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. Okay, press it down and then you're going to fold it over itself again. This will give you a really strong seam on the bottom. It's really hard to do the, sorry, they're so loud. Bitter peach. It's really hard to fold the whole thing and make it stay. So we're gonna do a little bit at a time, Michael so, and then we'll pause and fold as we go along. You ready? Hey. <laughs> Is it like blowing the baby wipes or making the baby wipes? Um, not really. Okay, so, but this is just sewing like the baby wipes. Is that what you're asking? Okay, so we need to make sure we stay on this very thin folded section. I'll try my best. And I'm gonna help you, okay? And we're gonna go to where my thumb is, we're gonna stop and fold more, okay? So you're gonna do four forward and then hit your reverse. Okay, good, now go backwards. Reverse. There you go, now forwards until you get to my thumb. There you go. Go ahead. 
Okay, now sew all the way to the edge. Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, so Micah sewed the bottom, so you can see that. Um, little edge there. We gotta work on our straightness, but we did a good job. It's all it's all tied down. That's what matters. Bag's not gonna break. Now we are going to make a lip on the inside. It's a lip. Um, a lip is when we fold it down because we this might fray. Okay, so these bags um, are woven plastic, and so they're gonna fray unless we do something to prevent that. So to prevent that, we are going to just do the same thing we did on the bottom, but we're not gonna sew the two sides together. We're just gonna do each lip individually, and we're gonna sew all the way around. So I fold it over. Let me get a better picture of this. It's hard to video when I'm talking. I'm gonna fold it over here, you see, a quarter of an inch about, and then I'm gonna fold it over itself again. This is gonna give me a nice strong lip to prevent the bag from fraying with use. So there it is. So I folded it once a quarter inch and then I folded it over itself again and we're gonna sew this down. We're gonna go slowly on the machine so that we can sew all the way around this circle without accidentally sewing the bag together. Okay, just like before, we're gonna do a little reverse at the beginning to make sure that the stitching is nice and secure. So go ahead, four stitches forward, four stitches back, and back. Okay. Now we're gonna, so we finished sewing the lip on the bottom. Now we're gonna turn it right side out. I promise the baby's fine. He's mad I put him in the pack and play so that we can sew. He hates it. He's jealous. Got it? Sheep bag. All right, so that's the basics of the bag here. Now all we need are handles. And to make the handles, we're gonna use the scraps we cut off the top and the bottom. Okay, we're gonna take Micah's Girl Scout sash here. Stop. And we're gonna cut it in half to make two handles. We're not going to, here, I'm gonna remove this. When I say cut it in half, we wanna take advantage of the fact that it's already a circle, right? So the less sewing we have to do, the easier. We're gonna cut it in half here like that. We're gonna fold it nice and flat and we're gonna cut it in half this way to make two handles and we're going to sew them.
And we're done. We have three grocery totes put together. They're nice and large. If you don't want them this big, you could cut them smaller, but I like them tall. You can fit lots in there. Good and sturdy handles. And these are do not have the boxed bottoms, but once you put something in them, they will stand up. The whole thing took me a little under two hours, but the girls were helping. I got stopped a lot just by things that kids need. And also the goats got out of the fence and I had to go fix the fence they broke. So if you're doing this yourself, I would guess you get it done in an hour or less. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.